Good afternoon, everyone. On this very joyous occasion, with deepest reverence and great joy, I, on behalf of the children and staff of Tibetan Children's Village, extend our greetings and warmest welcome to His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The song that the children sang just now is called Gechu Yangyen, a song celebrating His Holiness's 80th birthday. The children will now sing Nganzu Tsangma Kibu Yuna, which is the Tibetan version of If You Are Happy and You Know It. All the children are now requested to please stand to sing Nganzu Tsangma Kibu Yuna. Please be seated. Thank you. Thank you. I now request His Holiness the Dalai Lama to address the gathering. Since you often describe my English is very poor, so now here I'm going to speak Tibetan. <laughs> yeah, that is the Neda Manichi Zabuni Digangi, that's a Tokun Yishu tragedy. And mid me drive chane, when the talk with you, Ji. That's why I'm so pure music to have a share with you. Kongi pure dendum to all. Tongue the person do. When the chane get dembe dendum, do me ba. Rangsu pangwasi kona deke yari. And then eh, ngan nangwasi. In Betane, that under the Muni Digala, Chulu Samolo, Manichig, that Tubus Guada, she went around to Tumungi, Druja, Dora Michilia, Pendor Druja, that did Langayari. The only are Maranzo Shaba Nampens, Nanzo the Kyoto Sadi, get a Mashabiche. So the third room and Dora Yari, ready in a Samolo, Chamzin Yamne. Chigu Chaviari, Saturday in the Sun, Samolia, Chamsu Combe Toyaki, Nubada, Tapshi, Yedavari, Jazz or Ditane, Mazu Chugu, Meta or Samolo, Munatane Jigi, Tamsi Uchu Ching Jiz Chumbina, could never Timberba, Saturday Chane in a Kongi, any money Jigda, Rismaja Churu, and Marengo Shashane, 
Congregate. And the Kiran to the day, the other Jara, Ron Lumbenala, that's the Jara Shungi. Tonga personally, I jumped your Rorum, Shashuk Chamore. Tate, Tate, Chambe, Zambulingi, she managed the Rorum Sawaka, the Degatane, Rorum Mongu Yuguyari, she did the Rorum Gwane. Donna Champagne, Seven One, and the Pugu did the Salon Chain Biari, Lozon Chia, Kugoji on the Yari. Sanda Chanado Dieti, under Penjari in a Hutamata Chevere, Tadun in a pair, Sosa Pe, Semla Pe, Ribut Dimni, and Lozon Chia Dieti, Hutachirachi, and another day Music. Gay Oda Kaba Mangunga, two we are it. Toma and Kosanizu, the Mashi Becadola, Pebas Lamna Gilu Sorge. Any Pebetus Lamna Gilu number of Chigi to the Ton Dang at the bar. Tanga the bar, Shipche, Deshero to Stemni on the Sane, one at an egg, and the Perg Puyin Alla Yodeve, Gandachi. So, Nang Sankam Ribe called the Yidi, the Shanta Mandaji Chuku Yodaba. Tarana Shink Same Shung the Yidi, Shanta Mandaji Chuku Yodaba Jigi, called the Tony Mudua. So, Nango Sanje Chur, Tona Medding, Mr. Chur, Tava Medding and Midday, Kawan de Mungu, Tona Chedigua. Then this Jigita, Gayida, Gaydin Aloria, Rishu Chuku Yodaba Jigi, in the Sane, De. Nanzo Niri Niri, Chig Saka Tunga Ruchida, Chig Tomla Paz, Shibakuda, get the Pejuke Yamari, Pentake Yamari, Daganashi Tingdu, Shayu, the Degan Alole, get the Pentata, the Reke Yamari, in it, some catches in the two Stayona, Terricas the Muni Digala, Semkam Rigbeko, the Shege, Shedan Yunuri. Chazanga? Didn't Jasper Pomo Yameva. Chick Sangme, Desutalia, Tonancheni, Lobson, Shukshet Chetuachuna. That day, Nanzo Pur Mirigi, Rishun, Mirror in the Mirror, Nyarsa, Gunzin Chiati, Lobson Cheni, Gunzin Chiari, Mato, Jabdun or Shahi, Mari, Shaswa. I didn't mean the Jong. Amy Kuran Dunia, Terika, Gosses to Sit Kirari, Namari. Lady Tanganyi Tokusha Inza, and I am Chick 
Samnu na yedu de shedi gore. Ya, da chopu sum chen shou. I look like Bono now, don't I? <laughs> Your Holiness, and all of you very, very beautiful children. Some of you are not really children. It is such a great, great honor and privilege to be here. I have uh, some of my compatriots, they were showing off their, the South African flag uh, over there. All of us are very, 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 very proud and privileged to be here in Dharamsala. You are beloved throughout the world. And we want to say to you, young people especially, that it might not seem possible. It doesn't seem like it's something that will happen, that you will one day return to a free Tibet. We in South Africa for many, many years lived under a system of injustice and oppression. And many, many of our leaders and people, young people, went into exile. And it seemed like the chains of oppression would never be broken. That our leaders who were on Robben Island, the prison, would never come home alive, but yo, <laughs> it happened, it happened. In 1990, our beloved Nelson Mandela and others were released from prison and the exiles came back, came back home. One day you too, all of you, one day will see your beloved Tibet. You will be free from the oppression that has driven you to here. (laughs) 
the Chinese government will discover that freedom is actually cheaper than oppression. I am very deeply honored to be the friend of His Holiness. I show off when I'm in other places. Uh, I pretend that I am modest uh, and, 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 and don't tell too many people that actually he is a very, very dear friend. I just say, well, you know, he's mischievous. <laughs> he's troublesome. When I'm wearing my cap, he takes my cap off my head and puts it on his own head. Um, and you know what? The world supports you. The world loves His Holiness. When it is announced that I am coming to give an address in a certain place, well, maybe you can you will fill a small hall. But when they, they advertise that the Dalai Lama is coming, woo, they run around looking for the largest venue. I'm, uh, uh, I'm not jealous, no, no, no. no. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not jealous. <laughs> Maybe. But, <laughs> but you can see just how much the world loves him by the fact that everywhere he goes, crowds and crowds of people come even when he, they come to listen to somebody who speaks his English is <laughs> it's not it's not like yours. You I I was quite I was quite struck by how beautifully the young people welcomed us and told us a little bit about their story. It was just so, so fluent and eloquent. It's beautiful. I want to also add my thank you to the Indian government, the Indian people who opened their arms who opened their arms to welcome you because they, they, they preserved for us a great treasure. They preserved for us a great treasure that would otherwise have been lost. And so I want to say to you, all of you, Look at how beautiful you are. Oh, yo, 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 yo. One day you will be dancing and singing in the streets of Tibet, your home country. God bless you. And the calling will be done. Thank you, Your Holiness and Archbishop Tutu. We are now going to have a brief question and answer session. Any student who has a question, please raise your hand and ask your question.
Yes, it's not on. I'm Yula Doma from class 12B, and today I have a question for His Holiness. Your Holiness, my question is that since it is impossible for every human being on this planet to achieve Buddhahood at the same time, can there ever be a violence-free world? Thank you. <laughs> I think you see, violence with the same word, there are, there are many degrees, many different levels. Uh, small, small violence, I think so long, we human beings remain here, uh, even other sort of animal, also some limited uh, this is violence, always there. But serious violence, usually we call war, uh, mobilize the people, uh, big number, killing each other. That kind of, that kind of violence, I think, uh, can eliminate if we make effort with proper vision and method, I think, uh, certainly, I, I feel possible to achieve a world without such sort of kasota, serious violence. That I think we can, we can achieve. Good afternoon to His Holiness and the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I am Lobsang Chedron from Class 12B, and today my question is for the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Reverend Tutu, we are living in an age of consumerism where people try to find happiness in material things. What advice would you have for today's children and youth regarding this? Thank you. Thank you very much for that question. I think more and more people are realizing that they will not get satisfaction from uh, having many things. They can have many things, but they feel empty in the heart. And so you see young people who come from wealthy homes who are very idealistic, who go out to poor parts of the world to do all they can to alleviate the suffering there. They have found a deeper joy and satisfaction than happened when they were at home. And so, as a Christian, I have to tell people that you know you are made Like God, you are made for God. That anything less than the divine will never give you satisfaction. 
That is what one great African saint said. We are made for God, by God, like God. Our hearts are restless until they find their rest in thee. Thank you. Good afternoon. And my name is Dr. Namgyal and warm greetings to His Holiness and the Most Bishop Arch and the Most <laughs> Reverend Archbishop Jasmine Tutu. And my question is to His Holiness and Your Holiness, how do you control your anger in your daily life? Thank you. <laughs> when I got angry, shouting. <laughs> Oh, I think I have one sort of story. Uh, 1950, I think around 56, 57, 58, you see, uh, I used the uh, old car uh, which belongs to Tajindaralama. So sometimes you see that car broken. So then one, uh, one driver who come from Kalimbong, from India, you see, who drive. Mm. Mm. You see, one day, some sort of uh, damage under the car. So he sort of repairing. No. So while he repairing, his head somehow sort of hit. Bang. Bang. So then he lost his temper. There a further bank. One, one, one. What use that? <laughs> the very reason he lost temper is you see something hit. The further hit by himself is foolish. I think you said so we I think many cases firstly you see you develop some sort of unhappiness. Okay. So, uh, when anger develops, then think what is the causes. And then also think what will be the result of angry face, shouting. Then you will realize too much anger now medical scientists, they say, constant anger, constant hatred, uh, and also fear. Fear, where there is fear, there is also the frustration will come. Uh, frustration brings anger. So you see fear, anger, something very close. So therefore, constant fear, constant anger, hatred, actually eating our immune system. So you see, we, everybody, you see, taking care about our health. So, the, in order to have healthy body, healthy mind, that means calm mind, is very important. So anger is a destroyer of calm mind. So thinking these lines, then you realize you get some kind of conviction or anger is no use. Instead of sort of solving problem, it creates more problem. Then continuously thinking these lines, then eventually uh, that kind of thinking become habit of your own your, uh, your own mind. So that is the way to reduce anger. So when anger comes, Om Mani Pemeho, recite Om Mani Pemeho, will not help. 
you see, thinking, or when, as a Buddhist, when anger comes, or uh, will not much help. Training of our mind, reasoning, reasoning, that's the only way to transform our emotion. Clear? Like that. Thank you. Good afternoon, His Holiness and the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I'm Dr. Ma from Class 12A. Today, my question is for His Holiness. Your Holiness, can joy be the ultimate means for world peace? Thank you. Gaza. I think so. People, I think firstly, you see, they should have sort of clear understanding or awareness uh, how to develop joyfulness. It's temporarily joyful killing your enemy or bully someone. You may get some kind of temporary sort of satisfaction. But the genuine sort of joyfulness is, you see, helping other, you get more satisfaction. So that kind of sort of I say, the thinking about joyfulness uh, really, I think, an important factor to build happy society, peaceful society. Firstly, peaceful family. Uh, in order to create a peaceful family, uh, firstly, individual person, himself or herself, should create inner peace, joyfulness, then share with the, what's the family members. That through that way, one family, ten family, hundred family, that way change or bring happier society, happier community. Through that way, eventually national level, then humanity's level, seven billion human beings. We all same desire, same right to achieve happy life. Okay. Thank you. Now my English okay? Uh, possible. Possible. <laughs> 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 a very warm good afternoon, Your Holiness and the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I am Tinzo Wangdi from Class 11, 12B. My question is for Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Reverend Tutu, how can, how can we achieve true joy and happiness? <laughs> I think, I mean, that if we think we want to get joy for ourselves, we realize that uh, it's very short-sighted short-lived. Joy is the reward, really, of seeking to give joy to others. When you, when you show compassion, when you show caring, when you show love to others, do things for others. In a wonderful way, you have a deep, that, a deep joy that you can get in no other way. You can't buy it with money. You can be the richest person on earth, but if you are selfish and 
care only about yourself. I can bet my bottom dollar you will not be happy and joyful. But when, when you are caring, compassionate, more concerned about the welfare of others and of your own, wonderfully, wonderfully, you suddenly feel a warm glow uh, in your heart because you have, in fact, wiped the tears from the eyes of another. Thank you. We finished. Good afternoon, His Holiness and the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I am Tamdi Wangel from Class 12C, and today my question is for the Most Reverend Archbishop Desmond oh, Tutu. Yes. Yes. So, Reverend Tutu, we know that a healthy environment is crucial for the well being of humankind. So, how can religious leaders teach people how to care for the environment? Thank you. <laughs> we are we're spending a lot of time uh, reminding people that this is the only earth home we have. And if we treat it badly as we have been doing, we're done for. There's nowhere else where we are going to go. And so people are beginning to understand it is better to use clean energy, recyclable, even if you have a lot of oil around. Think about the consequences to the atmosphere. It's, it's, not, it's not just stories. The ice cap is melting. The polar bears are drowning. And many seas are flooding. And people recognize it now that there, are, there is something strange. Maybe they have a very long summer or a very long winter and they must begin to say, yes, there is something wrong. And I'm glad now, I mean, that many are beginning to hear what religious leaders and others have been telling them. This is our home, our only home. We have to care for it. The Dalai Lama was saying to me just now at lunch that uh, it would be so wonderful if African nations were united and used or, yes, utilize the solar energy in the Sahara, the desert, and then be able to desalinate, take the salt out of the sea water, and a desert could become a paradise. So that is what we try to do. If we go on as we are, then we're done for. Yes. Thank you.
They're singing. Okay, next we shall sing the song, We Are the World. There comes time when we hear a certain call When the world must come together as one
candles but we let's have one of the children come up and and help can we have one of the children come come on come on come on there we go right one two three The children will now say grace. So for this, I request Master Tenzin Thakpa to please lead the prayer of offering. Bajo Jana Pemoche Bondi. 